Hello again, everybody. It's TJ, the Stereo Bargain Foul, and you guessed it, I am very pumped up today to finally bring you all my overview of iFi Audio's XDSD High Resolution Headphone DAC Amplifier. But first, I want to give iFi Audio and Karina, who works at iFi Audio, a big thank you for sending the review sample into the channel so we could have an overview of it today. I'm going to go over a couple of specs. We're going to take a close look at the front of the unit and the back of the unit. Here on out, I'm just going to call it the XDSD. And uh, as you can see in front of you, it has got this really cool, sleek color to it that I absolutely love. It has like a gunmetal gray color to it. Now that steel casing is actually what iFi Audio calls their magnesium alloy aluminum. And that's right, the majority of the casing is uh, built out of this uh, magnesium aluminum, alloy aluminum. Hope I said that right. But on the back, you see here, it's plastic in the very back. Now, iFi Audio had to do that because not only can you have a direct connection up to it in the back, which is a USB-A male input and actually a SPDIF input. That's right, you all. Spit if input. That's something you normally don't hear with a headphone DAC amplifier, especially being a portable headphone DAC amplifier. But anyways, um, the Bluetooth receiver built inside is ready for iPhones and ad Android phones. With the iPhones, you'll be able to send out a signal from your iPhone or your iPad that is Bluetooth Codex ACC. Now, if you're somebody like me that has an Android phone and you want to use your Bluetooth codex, you know, using your Android phone as a transmitter, as the XDSD is actually the receiver, you will be able to send out aptX. That's right, y'all, aptX Bluetooth. That way you don't have no connectivity in the back of the headphone amplifier. But all you'll have to plug in is here on the front, which is a 3.5 millimeter input which uses uh iFi audio's uh s technology actually that's s balanced technology even though that's a 3.5 millimeter now for this review i will give my overall humble opinion of the overall sound quality and i used my drop hd 6xx headphones because i know how popular these headphones are and uh and those headphones you know being rated at 300 ohm headphones now the xdsd iFi claims that it can draw you know drive all the way up to 600 ohm uh headphones and i will tell you to be a portable headphone DAC amp it is very powerful especially for its size i mean it pushed my h um my hd 6xx drop headphones with ease you all i mean to very very loud levels Good bass down low, very well controlled. The mid range wasn't too forward, not too laid back, just just a little bit tilted back. Now the top end, because overall the headphones I was using themselves, the HD 6XX, they're more of a mellow and soft, you know, overall sound to them, and that they could use a boost, you know, in the top end. It's not clinically or surgically accurate the headphones themselves, but when I hooked up the the XDSD, the clarity, the image improved tremendously, especially over what I was using before, which was iFi Audio's iDSD. Now, this is a $199 headphone uh, DAC, but it doesn't come with the ability to be able to send Bluetooth or to be able to plug up any kind of SPDIF in the back. So now let's go ahead and um, look at all the different things that the Burr Brown DAC inside the chip and the circuitry can decode because to me this is a little bit future proof because if you're somebody like myself who likes Tidal Hi-Fi and Spotify Premium and you like to play them high resolution files here on the front it is going to tell you what resolution that you are playing so now I want to go ahead and give you a peek at what all it will decode so let's get you a better picture of this here you all go this will give you just a little bit better picture so you can see all the different PCM up to 768 kilohertz that play up to MQA and DSD 
512 and it does this natively you know uh, iFi audio doesn't use DOP if you've kept up with this channel I've talked about DOP before which is DSD over PCM where they're actually using DSD um, to run it over PCM frames the iFi audio doesn't do that because you can lose some of that bit some of that information you can lose but not with the iFi Audio XDSD, and I think that is outstanding. So now I want to give you all a close look of the front. As you see over here on the far left hand side, we have our 3.5 millimeter input. Then next to it, you got your kilohertz, and it'll tell you what input. As you can see, it's green right now. That green means I need to have a connection in the back. We'll get to that just here in a minute. Then over here, you have your selector. So you can select between, let me get a better, get this in better for you all. How's that you all? Is that much better? Now here you have your selector. Push it once. You got your extra bass because your headphones are a little weak down in the low end. You can give it a little bit more bass. And say you want to add a 3D plus. This is going to help with better imaging and better layering. Giving you more of a sense of listening to two speakers or you can have them both on or turn them both off. Now, as you see, when it's green, this means it wants a cable input in the back. Now, if I want to go to Bluetooth, I'm going to hold this down for two seconds and let off. I might have done that too long or not long enough. Here we go. Hold it down again. Now, I'm going to hold it down once more. This can be a little bit tricky. Now, you want to hold it down for two seconds, and you can see here is the Bluetooth. But one really awesome feature... Um, with the XDSD is not only can you use you know this 3.5 millimeter input for your headphones but you can also turn this into a line output that's right if you all would have watched my overview of the IDSD iFi that has the line output but the way you're going to do this let's go ahead and turn it off now I'm going to hold down the selector and push in for the power to turn on at the same time now when I do that, you see that it turned white. Now that it's turned white like that, it's going to allow me to use the 3.5 millimeter uh, input as a line output. Now I showed you all before, and that's going to turn off the built-in DAC inside the XDSD and allow you to use it only as a DAC. That's right, so if you wanted to hook it up, let's say to your Hi-Fi 2-channel stereo system, then you would need a cable, something like this monster cable I have. Now here's the 3.5 end, so I would plug it up. Now on the other end, now I showed this in my other video, these are monster cables. They have worked very well for me. These are your analog RCAs. So if you have a preamp or an integrated amp or a receiver that has auxiliary analog input, you can plug it straight up and use the XDSD as a dedicated DAC only, which I think that is a very awesome feature. Very awesome feature because that's again it's going to allow you to decode MQA files, which is master quality authenticated, and DSD 512 and PCM up to 768 kilohertz. I mean the Burr Brown DAC chip built inside is a strong chip. I mean it can do some serious decoding. But something else that I haven't heard many people talk about and that is actually using it with your car's stereo system or your truck stereo system you're like well how you do that tj well i have an old work truck and i have an aftermarket uh, stereo system in it and with cd but it has auxiliary input that goes into my head unit in my truck now some of your cars may have an auxiliary analog input now mine uses the 3.5 millimeter to 3.5. So you'll use the 3.5 millimeter, plug it into the XDSD, and the other end I plug right into my head unit and my stereo in my car. And I cannot tell you all what a difference it makes using that Burr Brown DAC going to my car's head unit. You know, um, I'm a I'm an audio gearhead. I've always been in the audio. I'm a, little bit of an audio file i'll go ahead and admit it and the way it changed the overall sound character in my trucks just um it's almost jaw dropping because you know 
I'm usually just take my phone and Bluetooth the signal. You know, a lot of people do that. But, you know, with the XDSD, it allows me to get, you know, a more refined sound overall. And I haven't heard many people mention that. But you will always need a 3.5 millimeter going in. Then coming out, you know, some people may not have, you know, built into their head unit, their stereo, the 3.5 millimeter input. You may have something different. But they make a lot of cables out there today, you all. And uh, if you needed help with that, down in the comment section, you tell me what kind of stereo you'll have. And if it has an auxiliary input and I can find a cable for you all, I will do that. But anyways, this is the one mine uses. And that's just an awesome feature because we want to get the most out of our audio products. I know I do, and I want you all to. So you know I can use it as a headphone amp. I can use it in my two-channel stereo and I can use it in my truck with its aftermarket stereo inside, which is about seven or eight years old, as long as you have that auxiliary input. Again, they make many different cables. Okay, now it's time to go look at the back of the XDSD headphone DAC amplifier. Okay, if you see here on the far right, this input here, that is a Type C. That is where you're, uh, you're gonna put, uh, plug up to charge your battery. That will be your power cable going in that is the only way you can charge up the xdsd now some people say that it has been a caveat from them for them then next to it you have your measure and listen then right here almost in the middle you have your usb a male input so you will need a female input to go over top and your usb is going to be your strongest for decoding music files up to mqa and uh, DSD 512 and PCM at 768 but if we look over here on the far side this is our SPDIF input and with the iFi XDSD they are going to send you this little connector here that's called a 3.5 coaxial toss link combo which this will plug into the back and then the other link, you will hook up your toss link up to it. And what this allows you to do is to be able to hook up your TV, your game consoles, um, your CD players, and even, you know, your laptops if you have a toss link output. I thought that was really cool. Now, this was a review sample. And um, unfortunately, when this got sent to me from the last person who reviewed it, they didn't uh, send it back with that cable. It would have been nice if they did. That is no fault of iFi Audios. It's just the last reviewer just didn't incorporate it into the box. But that's okay because I ran it all the other ways I possibly could. But I just think that's a really cool feature to have the SPDIF. Now the SPDIF input with the Burr Brown DAC, it's uh, going to decode 100 and up top to 192 kilohertz at 24 bit. And again, this is going to allow you to hook it up to, you know, game consoles up to it, TV, CD players, DAP players, anything that has that toss link output that you can go into it, which I call Toshiba link. Now, I did use the Drop HD 6XX headphones because they're so popular. But, you know, to me, those headphones overall are mellow and soft that could use, you know, a boost in the top end. It's not clinical or surgically accurate, but when I hooked up, you know, to the XDSD iFi, the clarity in the imaging improved tremendously. Overall, it was digging into the details. It was giving me more life in that top end over, you know, the uh, iDSD right here. What you all need to stay tuned to the very end because there is going to be a drawing to win the IDSD the first time on the channel. You know, I've heard a lot of people say that the XDSD, you know, it has been, you know, compared against the Mojo, uh, the Cord Mojo, I meant to say, and that is a much more expensive, but iFi Audio says that XDSD, being a portable amplifier, can drive headphones up to 600 ohms. I will tell you it had no problem driving my 300 ohm headphones i mean it drove them very loud i was very impressed of how powerful the xdsd is yes i've also used over here my iFi idsd 
with my HD6XX headphones, and I mean I can turn it all the way up, and it can just sit there and handle it, but um, the XDSD overall, you know, the sound character is very similar, but the XDSD has more heft to it, you know, a little bit faster, more articulate bass down in the low end, the mid-range of the XDSD and the IDSD, uh, both of them have somewhat of this U-shaped sound signature. The mid-range is just drawn back a little bit, meaning it's not too forward. But this doesn't hurt, you know, the vocals at all. The vocals sound really good. But the one thing with the XDSD, I will say, is that top end gave a lot more life to the top end. The, the overall clarity, you know, I got better imaging, you know, better depth altogether with the XDSD. But being twice the price as the IDSD, that is to be expected. And one thing I can always say about iFi audios, they always have good sound quality, good build quality, and just amazing customer service. And that goes a long ways, especially in today's world. That goes a very long ways. I want to thank iFi Audio again. I mean, this has been an outstanding little headphone DAC amplifier that you can Bluetooth to. Again, if you're using an Android phone, you will want to order you an app, you know, on the go cable with your Android phone, which is to be your female type A, and then there's your USB C on the other end. Now, if you're somebody that is using an iPhone, if you're using that iPhone, here are the lightning cables here that you're going to want to use, and those are very good cables, also. But these, these two on the top is for the iPhone. The one on the bottom is for Android. I actually have two of these on the go. Very good build quality. But anyways, yes, when I had it directly hooked up, it did sound better than using the Bluetooth, but using that Bluetooth app to X, I was really impressed. It was almost like CD quality. And nowadays, you know, people don't like, you know, especially portable, they don't want to have a lot of cables everywhere. So having that built-in Bluetooth receiver is an awesome feature to have in the XDSD. But yes, I think it's a good bang for the buck, you know, being $399 US, yes, it punches above its price point. And I think it just looks gorgeous. I mean, having that full hefty sound, a little bit more weight, a little bit more liveliness in the top end that isn't fatiguing, especially with the, you know, HD6XX, I just think it's an outstanding headphone DAC amp. And I want to give a big thank you to iFi Audio for sending me the review sample. Until next time, this is TJ, the Stereo Bargain File. So yes, this is the little bonus section over here to your all's right. The IDSD iFi Black Label Nano. I will be having a drawing on this channel, but there are some stipulations. One, because due to uh, shipping out of the country right now is very expensive. The drawing is only going to be for people that live over in my country, which is in America, U.S. Another thing, whoever wins this, since I did open it up on the overview, I voided the warranty, so it will be an as-is product. But I want to give a big thank you to iFi Audio because they went ahead and gave the IDSD Nano into the channel so we could have this drawing for somebody out there. So down in the comment section, if you want to have a chance to win the iFi Nano, Nano IDSD Black Label, just write your name down. I will and I will put everybody's name in a drawing. I will draw the name, then I will come back to your comment and tell you that you want, and I will give you my email address, and I will need your address to send it to you, because we just hit 3,000 subscribers on the channel, and that is awesome, and if you like what I'm doing on this channel, and we're doing many different things, please go ahead and hit that like button, and, subs and subscribe. Until next time, this is TJ, the Stereo Bargain File.